What's up everyone? This is the channel to agree to disagree. I'm Brendan. I'm Joe. And we're going to be reviewing Louis Latier's movie, Now You See Me. Real opening credits. Let's do it. My line. Let's do it. I'm waking up. So Louis Leterrier is the director, pretty stacked cast for this movie, quick synopsis, group of four individuals, magicians and supernatural beings, whatever you want to consider them as, they didn't really do a good job at really explaining that part, but whatever they are, they are trying to pull off the ultimate trick to pull off a big heist to get initiated into a very top secret magical clan. It's, it's, you know, sounds silly, which it is. They, uh, they're not some natural beings, and they definitely made sure to make that clear. Because they, they didn't make it clear, but a lot you, you could pick guess, up on it. No, they made it clear. They're street magicians, and they get together, and a lot of things aren't explained, and makes you think it's... A lot of it's just impossible, and they try to pull it off as just magic tricks. See, what was the issue about this movie is there was a lot of CGI, and people hate CGI. Stupid. The balloon thing was one of the stupidest things I've ever seen. What do you mean? Bubble. Experience. One of the magicians just magically floated in a bubble, and... and so stupid. Yeah. But, I mean, it was a pretty cool cast. You got J Jesse Eisenberg. He had Common in it. If you guys know Common, This the was rapper. the first movie I actually liked Jesse Eisenberg. Rock Mark Ruffalo is the lead detective in the movie. You had uh, Woody Harrelson. Uh, I forgot the girl's name. Isla Her Fisher. name, Isla Fisher, Dave Franco. Those are the four. That, by the way, their chemistry in the movie, are those four, how they play well, with each other. my only positive. I really enjoyed that part. That's not the only positive. It was an entertaining movie. Uh, and you had Morgan Freeman and Michael Caine as supporting actors who did fantastic. Morgan Freeman is always good, and so is Michael Caine. They're always good. So, I mean, basically, this movie, I had a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. It was, it's fun to sit through. It's definitely entertaining to sit through. It was, um, it's silly, though. A lot to of, me, it was just silly. A lot of parts were really, really silly. and Especially the lines. Some of the lines were just like... <laughs> like, what, what the big, hell is this? A big problem with it, too, is I don't know about you, I don't know if I'm the only, only one here, but you're sitting through the movie, you don't know who to cheer for. You got the magicians, then you got the, you know, FBI, and you don't know who's a good guy, who's a bad guy, you don't know who to root for in this situation. Let me just say, Mark Ruffalo got shitted on in this movie by every single character. This movie it was, was so funny. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo just... Mark Ruffalo did a great job. I'm saying by I mean shitting on his actual character, just n never made the right move. It was great, but the acting was fine. The acting was definitely fine for what it was. Uh, like you said, the chemistry with the main four, uh, I like them a lot. They, I would like yeah. to see them together yeah, in another in movie. movie like that. They tried really, really, really hard to really make a lot of twists and turns in this movie, and the writing just got silly. It just they just so many twists and turns. They just really wanted to get into your head. They would. It was trying to be an inception of. Magicians, but they they really failed at that part, and the ending. And now that I sit back and think about it, it was really really stupid. It's I called the ending as a joke halfway through the movie. And I'm like, oh, imagine if that happened. It actually did happen. It was stupid. Yeah, I mean, I remember hearing him in that part saying that, and I was like, ah, oh, I like they wouldn't do that. I was, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but I could see where they were coming from and trying to catch you off guard completely. But it was just stupid. It's very rough. As the cameraman says, it was very rough. <sighs> Other than that, I mean... We're making it sound so bad, but it is an entertaining movie to sit through. It's very fast-paced. Entertaining. It keeps you on your heels throughout the whole entire movie. I was on the edge of my seat. There's like so the much chasing where I was like almost on my feet. Yeah, you know, there was a, there it was definitely a... can get you into it, but the writing and stuff like that just... It, CGI it killed it. Hurts the movie. It, it did so much, but I, I still really liked it for what it was. I, I was able, I was able to be entertained. I was able to be on the edge of my seat, wondering what the hell is gonna actually happen because they made you think, like, they made you until the ending. The twists and turns were kind of cool because they were making you think a lot of different possibilities. But once you false the, once you find out the, the twist, it's like ah. Oh. But let us know what you think. Did you like now you see me? Do you think we're stupid for not really enjoying this movie as much as we should have? We were entertained, but coming out of it, looking back... Not a movie I'd watch again. No. But I, I'm happy I watched it and got to see it for once. 
First movie I like Jesse Eisenberg in. So there's that. I, I always like Jesse Eisenberg. I never do. I, he's awesome. He's just... He's, yeah. He just as agreed as this great. <laughs> Anyways, well, let us know what you think. Comment down below. Facebook, Twitter. Subscribe. Subscribe, please. Much effort. And this is the channel to agree to. Team Joe. Team Brendan. <laughs> I think we're a mutual for this one, though. Yeah. We're very mutual. It's Team Brenjo. Team Brenjo. Agree to? Disagree.